After a successful playing career with SK Gaming, Carlos Oslot Rodriguez set out to create and form his own organization, Gamers2. Struggling to qualify for the EU LCS, Oslot recruits rising star Luka Perks Perkovic to take his helm, relinquishing the starting mid position. In the second attempt with Perks, a revamped team successfully qualifies for the European LCS. Marking this new era, the organization is renamed to G2 Esports. An unknown quantity and dark horse of Europe, G2 quickly rose to prominence, vying for first place week after week. Meeting an empowered origin in the final, they marked the start of their dynasty with a victory over their Spanish rival. It would be the first time G2 would lift an LCS title, but certainly not the last. After a disappointing performance at the mid-season Invitational, the team returns to the EU LCS hungrier than ever. With the dynamic duo of Sven and Miffy and Trick's MVP-worthy performance in the jungle, G2 maintain their throne and lift their second EU LCS title over Splice. Alas, international success continues to elude the organization as the team exits early from the tournament, winning only one game in the group stage against Albus Nox Luna. The team dominates the league with a 12-win, one-loss record in the regular season and carries the momentum forward to defeat Unicorns of Love in the final, securing their third consecutive championship win. Third time's the charm. G2 Slay, LPL representative Team WE in the semis to enter their first ever international final. Although falling to SK Telecom, G2 Esports leave their mark on the international stage, with Perks establishing himself as a top mid laner not just in Europe, but in the world. The Royal Tour wasn't finished yet, though. After three back-to-back -back LCS titles, their first international finals appearance, G2 cement their dynasty with a strong regular season and 3-0 dominant victory over Misfits, giving them their fourth consecutive LCS title as the Kings of Europe. Despite a strong domestic finish, they were unable to translate this onto the world spotlight, bowing out in the group stage to the roar of Wuhan. 2018 brought a new year and new changes to the G2 roster. The throne would be vacant as all but perks would depart, marking the second time the organization would rebuild around its marquee player. This was not the only change, however. For the first time, the team did not win the split, instead falling to Fnatic in the final and taking second place. Although starting strong, the team finishes fourth in the regular season and were eliminated in playoff quarterfinals by Misfits. Down, but not out. G2 Esports would rally in the gauntlet and take down Schalke Nolfier and Splice to represent Europe as their third world seed. At the world's play and stage, G2 defeat all contenders to take one of the four coveted group stage places. Then, they accomplish an organization first by overcoming the group stage and reaching the quarterfinals. That was not enough. They then stunned the world by taking down tournament favorites Royal Never Give Up in a 3-2 quarterfinal victory. Despite an incredible run, they were eliminated by Invictus Gaming in the semifinals, who go on to win the tournament. This top four finish sets the benchmark for both G2 Esports and Europe to overcome in 2019.